he on? Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. Sire! Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. Astrologers augur. The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. Uncle Byron doing here. Only one way to find out. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel with another gameplay of Final Fantasy 16. I had to stop the previous one midway because the cutscene was going too long. So yeah, the intro had to be delayed. And here we are with the intro. Let's just get into it. Ah, my dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wayne. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Saw the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith the Port Isolde. I was. I. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you.
It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly, her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No, the journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield, and you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned, and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Ah, my favorite pupil. Allow me to educate you. the details here. Thus ends today's lesson. Mid's finished outfit in her little workshop I right here, with a little help from Sid. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Is everything we've received and everything promised? All yours. Come again. I may have more for you. Clive! Quick look. Always something in there. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The Lanzer and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalamil. 
Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's, and only Sid's. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. What's wrong, Gav? It's this gold your uncle gave us. Are you sure it's all right for us to take it? My uncle isn't easily refused. Especially where dispersing his wealth is concerned. But 2,000 talents. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know how much that is in Gil. It's the price of a quayside mansion in the Crystalline Dominion. He sold one to fund our endeavor. He was hoping to part with it anyway, what with war brewing in the region. And, luckily for him, a Sambraquan noble was willing to pay over the odds for a foothold in the Holy Emperor's neighborhood. But still, uh, 2,000 talents! I mean, is it normal for nobles to give away that kind of money? It's normal for my uncle. Fuck me. Oh, the other half live, eh? Well, now that we've got a few gills to rub together, do you think it'd be all right if I splashed out on a few bottles of Lost Wind's finest? Here, leave some for the rest of us, Otto. If he's filling his cellar, I'm filling our larder, starting with a barrel of the best salt-cured northern salmon. I'll leave you to decide how best to use it. Just don't spend all at once, all right? I heard they call Rosina the Desert Hare on account of how little escapes her ears. They have no habit of bolting at the first sign of danger. But if she knew Sid was looking for her, she might just be tempted back out. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. A trading post it is. Destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. <laughs> you were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home. 
and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. Who do you think those soldiers were in the end? So, Lord Cook has finally made his mark. Yes, I expect that's why they're such soldiers. Ah, there she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, Quick drink before we press on? are ashen steeds no doubt about it and such a long ride from stone here our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn shall we join them run along and play now Torgal dogs aren't allowed inside Day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water.
keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skim, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> Let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Uncle? Sorry. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You two are travelers, are you not? <laughs> Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, go. Come on. Come on. Friend. to lose. Friend. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. Your trouble. Uh, word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine.
Clive? What is it now? It means nothing. Let's go. Didn't know where to find Kupka before, we do now. The Royalists said it themselves. Their guest is in the Fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means, the wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Delamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Well, it's not like we've got a reason to. Maybe this emergency is they've shut down the whole mine for it. Are you looking for something in particular? Fare you well. Are you looking for something in particular? Crystal delivery is over. Get back to your homes. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um... You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Dalamil is famous for its spas, its markets, and its smithies. Somebody at one of those might be able to help you. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. 
Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Well, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Won't find a finder smithy this side of the strait. Gavin is only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience, believe you me. That boy at the Briar's Kiss is a real talent. People flock from miles of... Light it for Gilbert's sake! the crystal. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not a toy. Can I help you? Yes. I'm looking for a woman by the name of Buzina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Ask for further at the baths. With this woman. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this further knows. Wait, incense. What wax candle? Excuse me, are you further? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the Desert Hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the Bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. I know who you're looking for. You go to the Bordello. This town is truly blessed. The bustling markets, the healing... So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business, and you're likely to lose it. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, hi, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. 
Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. Needed to a silken softness. Like eating a cloud with a crust. Yeah, the problem is that in this hot desert, he's still wearing leather. Is this the place? Who was Forge? The Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're gonna listen to this swaggering scruff! We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. 
It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. Fortune Dalamil finds herself in is of a crystalline nature. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. There's cartloads of crystal coming out of Drake's Fang every day. Meanwhile... Have a moment. Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the Rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well. Thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. The men of the rock are Lord Cook's private guard. <laughs> he must be a generous man. About this. A deposit? For what? Information, my good man. Now, listen carefully. You wouldn't believe how much he gave me. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. I don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. Yeah, have a taste. The finest fabrics, fresh from the... What was all that crashing and banging about before? Some out of town. It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Flush these days. How are you now? Huh? Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection. ...that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. 
All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere... ...and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then. Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show, one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <sighs> of course. Is the tavern shop? What was all that crashing and banging about before? Oh, yes, the most fragrant herbs and juiciest spring. meat from greens. Do you think they'll be back soon? They need a new dress. I don't pay anything right now. Wait, Sinbad! Just look at the hanging lanterns. Keep the darkness in Light it for Gilbert's sake. This river runs all the way to the southern seas. They used to load the crystal onto barges and sail it to the villages downstream. Before the canyons were lost to beasts and bandits. When I was a girl, I would wave to the boatmen as they set off on their long journey. They would throw me sweet meats. A thousand gill for a measly bunch of... It's all the fault of this blasted one.
I'll take it from here. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And... Being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both! It's not over yet, Uncle. I'm just getting warmed up. Get him! That wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Greybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly, buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the Rock taking Crystal's men for the common folk and conspiring with the Royalists. Well, 
Now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... Ugh! Here, wear this. Any friend of mine who sees you with it... Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my Stolases back to your people. Tell them that... Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Oh, we are lost, Elan. To his Achilles. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> well, well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go.